Look at all those dogs. Oh my God. That is a lot of dogs. Baby, you probably get looking through something with dog walking around here. Who is hot? Welcome to Colombia, y'all. We'd have been a lot of countries, maybe, because I'm damn sure it's about to be like, welcome to Panama. <laughs> welcome to Colombia. Hey, y'all. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Colombia. Welcome to the beautiful Medellin, Colombia. Thank y'all for joining. So, quick background. My husband and I left the United States back in February and we've been living abroad all year, traveling to different countries. Um, so we're coming up on about seven months now. We did visit the States in July, um, so we did have a month off, but other than that, since February, we have been traveling to different countries all over the globe. We have been in, this year, living abroad, we have been in Brazil, Spain, Vietnam, Thailand, Indonesia, Japan, uh, I feel like I'm missing one, Panama, and now we are in Colombia, and it's been a journey, y'all, and for the first time ever, which I think is so cool, we are actually looking at Airbnbs in person before we make a decision, which I'm really glad about because I cannot count on one hand how many, I should have brought a hat. I cannot count on one hand how many um, Airbnbs we have been in this year. And you know, most of the Airbnbs we've been in have been perfectly fine but you know we have also had a couple where we were like WTF is this maybe you're walking to show you it's too hot over there we have had a couple where we are like WTF is this thank y'all for the hearts and um so we're we've been in Colombia for like four days now and right now we are in what we are calling a right Come on, baby. Oh, right now we are in what I am calling a temporary Airbnb. We booked a spot for four nights, but we ended up adding, we walk up an incline, y'all, so don't judge me, judge your mama. <clears throat> we ended up booking one additional night because it has not been easy finding an Airbnb in, um, not necessarily in Medellin, but just like it hasn't been easy finding an Airbnb that we would want to stay in for a full month. Whew, good God. I had a breath. What does that say? Helados. Caseros. What's caseros? I don't know what helados is ice cream. Um, so, yeah. We are going to look at four Airbnbs today. And it just so happened that the first one was walkable. Love 14 minute walk. The weather in Medellin is pretty perfect year round. It can get hot though, but it's like that heat where when you walk in the shade, it's like not bad. So right now we're in the shade so it doesn't feel too bad. But in the sun, it do feel uh, hot. Thank y'all for the hearts. But where are y'all joining in from? Y'all being so quiet, drop in the comments and let me know where y'all are joining in from. Let me know who is in the house. Now, if we come across any sketch areas where it gets really hey la west coast if we come across any <clears throat> sketch areas or not even necessarily sketch but any like busy areas where there's just like a whole bunch of people i'm gonna have to maryland east coast let's get it then i'm gonna have to put my phone down y'all feel me uh.
because um, normally Medellin is definitely a place where you don't want to like there is like petty theft like people will take your phone so um, I do got my little bodyguard right here looking out behind me and I got my phone really close to my chest but I'm um, in the area that we're um, <clears throat> good God we're in Colombia right now um, the area that the neighborhood that we're living in right now is actually like very very chill um, but it's like right around the corner from areas more like this where there's just like a lot more um, there's like a lot more people and it's a lot busier so we got to be careful you feel me right now we in the sun and I'm wishing I brought a hat with me but anyway yeah we looked at four Airbnbs yesterday and we liked two we really like three out of four no the light isn't green <clears throat> but yeah we like three out of four my husband got me jaywalking out here although he's supposed to be behind me he keep walking in front of me so you know there's that but um okay got a little books out here for sale y'all bought a dragon ball z puzzle yesterday out on the street for like four dollars but anyway um columbia grab some coffee i don't drink coffee um and i've, I've had that coffee here before i've been here before babe look at that pigeon i think it's thick y'all the pigeons here when i tell you but the ones in panama oh i saw these pigeons here eating good but anyway so um sala de beleza okay i forgot what i was talking about bye um oh the airbnb yes yeah, so we looked at four airbnbs yesterday so here's the thing whenever you are you know traveling and you're thinking about where you're going to stay at the end of the day everybody has different requirements right it depends on the people it depends on what you're going to be doing while you are on that trip it depends on um like the amount of people the country etc so for example requirements depending on um the people right so obviously some people are more picky than others some people are less picky some people are like i'm really just going to be here to sleep i don't give a damn some people are like if that place is not top of the line fine i'm not going there i'm very in between i've stayed in a lot of places that a lot of people would consider sketch or old I mean, as long as honestly, the cleanliness is really the biggest thing. Um, but I have stayed in places that were older. Like when I traveled to Egypt, I, with my Egyptian friend, she has an apartment there, her family anyway. And like that, that place was like older. And I traveled with the remote year back in 2019, which is a group travel company. And I did... Um, Chile, Peru, Colombia, and Mexico. And Peru and Colombia, the apartments were a little bit more modern. But the place we stayed in Chile and in um, Mexico, both were a little bit older. It was not a big deal at all. Um, also, you know, I was traveling by myself then. So that's the other thing I was going to say. It depends on how many people there is, right? There are a lot of places that can be very comfortable with one person versus two people or versus a group, right? So um, our first month, we left the country. We were living abroad. We were in Brazil and we had a studio, which I promise y'all was really more like a hotel room, <laughs> like a lot of bakeries out here, by the way, in Colombia. Um, they call it a studio apartment, but... I promise you it was really like a hotel room. <laughs> Thank y'all for the hearts. Damn, we ain't turning no time soon. And we learned in that first month that that kind of setup, look at all these pigeons. That kind of setup does not work for us. Like just does not. Like we need, we need a room. And when I say, and when, even when I say like we need space, I mean, Cause we've looked at some really nice lofts um but the problem is a loft looks very nice but it's very open right so you know there's been some other places 
that we've looked at that in theory could have worked but it doesn't because we're both working remote and we need um I I'm butterfly we both work in remote so like if one of us is like on a call or you know listening to something basically we need like we need to make sure that somebody can go into a room and close a door which you cannot do in something like a loft or like a studio apartment right so that's kind of like one thing that's going to be really important for us also because it's two of us sharing a bed that means we need a decent side bed <laughs> y'all you see my husband and if y'all been following me i see my content y'all seen me we are in columbia and y'all we ain't got no business in any bed smaller than a queen however right now the place that we have what cross is that cross here um right now the place that we have here in columbia has a full and no not a full it has a double and baby baby listen even as a married couple a bitch needs some goddamn space okay we go in here or we need to go over here okay um so that's like another thing another thing that we've actually noticed about columbia is that a lot of the places here have double beds so keep in mind if you end up traveling to columbia and if you are going to be sharing a bed with somebody listen you better choose the option of of king bed because like i said otherwise it's gonna be a little tight all right so anywho baby it's one o'clock so i feel like this has to be it right because we're already here anywho we have um another we have like other some other requirements that i'll talk to y'all about as y'all are taking this journey with me but the place we're going to look at now is i think it's like um 1400 which is honestly more than we want to pay but we were paying 1750 in panama so it is less than what we were paying before and we're gonna negotiate so there's that as well but i just think it's so cool that we are able to go and look at airbnbs in person because you know we can see the space and, you know sometimes you know photos be deceiving so the four places we looked at yesterday hey little birdie the four places we looked at yesterday for the most part they did match the photos but one of them was like a little bit more dirty than it showed in the photos the other ones pretty much did match but sometimes like sometimes like the living room will end up being like a little bit smaller which like for me since i like to work out at home um like that's something that's important to me um so it's just like little things studio airbnb was 1200 two years ago damn really shit whenever i was living here in 2019 it was um yeah you could have got a nice apartment here for like 800 dollars a month Hold on, babe. Y'all, let me check my WhatsApp. Hold on real quick. Yeah, you could have got a nice apartment here for like $800 a month. Hold on, babe. Y'all, let me check my WhatsApp. Hold on real quick. Yeah, you could have got a nice apartment here for like $800 a month. Hold on, babe. Y'all, let me check my WhatsApp. Hold on real quick. All right, I'm back. Yeah, so we are here at the first place. Trying to figure out where this person is. Because they need to let us in. So we can look. But yeah, um what's really nice about this area so like whenever we first came here we were so determined that we were gonna we were um ceboya you selling onions um um that completely distracted me but yeah we were so determined that we were gonna have the same poblado or in a neighborhood called Arles. but now that we're here we're, in, we're actually in an area called la floresta and we fucking love this neighborhood because first of all, like it's so local, which is something that's like really important to me, right? Like I don't travel to just be around a bunch of like tourists and Americans, especially living abroad. So um, that's one thing that's like really important to me. And then also like there's so many like local places to eat. Like, oh my God, y'all like this meal I had earlier. Hey Dana, um, in Colombia. So like this meal I had earlier, y'all there's so many dogs here, by the way, so many i've never seen as many dogs as i've ever seen in in here many is this it she told me the name of the building oh do you know la floresta lawrence 
Or are you just like writing it down? <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me message this woman and see what's You know La Floresta, Lawrence? Or are you just like writing it down? <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me message this woman and see what's Or are you just like writing it down? <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me message this woman and see what's Hey, Kimberly. Yes, I live here too. Yes. Hey, Kimberly. Yes, I live here too. Yes, Lawrence. Y'all left Panama quick. <laughs> Did we? We were there for five weeks. And originally we were planning on being there for two months. And I'll be honest, the time did go by. But I mean, we, we did literally leave Panama quick, quicker than we thought we were going to. But um, we were still there for five weeks, which is pretty solid. Because whenever we left the U.S., like we anticipated being in every country for four weeks. So it's about what we were expecting. We are trying to find this building. And we need to hurry up because we have another appointment at 1.30 and it is 1.04. She said it was the, the photo. She said it's in a photo. One. She said it was the, the photo. She said it's in a photo. One. She said it was the, the photo. She said it's in a photo. One. A vice burger in the park has good food yo we literally ate advice was that last night two nights ago yo that burger was so good i almost ate there for lunch today but my husband was like relax bianca so yes love vice burger um yeah so it would be really dope if we did get to stay in this neighborhood because we do really like it and there is like a lot there's like a lot of stuff to do um like poblado is like the the really popular area here so i think and that's where i stayed at the last time i was in columbia back in 2019 so i was kind of expecting to stay there but which i mean i'm not like completely against it if we were to find a good place there was actually a place we were gonna um that we were gonna stay in poblado but um yeah here is definitely more local poblado is definitely has more of like a touristy vibe where the hell is this woman yeah here is definitely more local poblado is definitely has more of like a touristy vibe where the hell is this woman? Hold on. Okay. I don't know what's going on. She said they're going to come down, but I don't see nobody coming down to anything. Remember, I be telling y'all that when I'm live, you get all sides of travel, not just the sexy stuff. This is a perfect example. It's 106. It's hot. It's not hot, hot, but it's hot. It's like a little hot. And, um, you said what? Who, what? Her? Oh, I think I see her. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we found it. Okay. When I Perdón. Creemos que es ahí. All right, we found it, y'all. So we going in. Oop. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien. Bien, gracias. All right. Well, Mel, I'll let you lead since I'm obviously on live. Think we're in Elden. Okay, we're getting an elevator, so I'm. Think we're in Elden. Okay, we're getting an elevator, so I'm. Think we're in Elden. Okay, we're getting an elevator, so I might beg. Okay, let's see. Okay, there's one bathroom. Kitchen. Oh, that's pretty spacious. Sadly, no oven, but what's in there? Laundry? All right. Oh, como, um, not abierto. Oh, we gotta pull it. Okay, so the laundry door look ghetto. Okay, all right. Washing machine, dining. Seems like the couch would be more in front of this TV. You said what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Couch is a little bit smaller than we would like, but um, we'll see. 
balcony the place we have right now does not have a balcony so we would definitely love one of these so here's the balcony i mean you said what he said it's all right yeah i'm feeling the same it's all right i'm not in love i don't hate it i also don't love it for the price if i give it more like a thousand i'd be like okay but for 14 mm. it does have really good reviews though is, is this the master yeah okay Oh, and keep in mind there's no AC, so like what you feel right now is like, I mean, but it's breezy. Like when it's open, like it feels pretty good in here. So this is the second bedroom, which would basically be storage for us. She and Bright, it's nice. It's cute. Um, yeah. So this would basically be like the storage room for us. We normally put our suitcases and stuff, and then we always tell our friends like if they do want. Oh, they're missing. If we do, if they do want to come visit us, they can. Babe, where's the other bathroom? Oh, here it is. Okay, I know it's in here. Okay. So the bed is a queen. Thank God. Closet. Okay, definitely some room in here to put our stuff, which is always nice. Let's turn the light on and see. Um, I hate showers like this because... I don't like being like showered on like directly down, but it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Okay, shower is okay. Not a ton of sink space for my stuff. Oh y'all, you didn't stay in Airbnbs like this is the kind of stuff you'd be thinking about. Wait, is there not a door for this? Oh, you would close this door. So you would go in the closet and the bathroom at the same time. Okay. How's the bed? Did you sit on it? This bed is hard as fuck. Okay. I'm like, I'm like, now I'm filling into the, in the AC. There's no AC in here. It's a little, little, little toasty side. You think so? It's also kind of hard to tell because we just came from outside. Yeah. And um, I'll blast you to cool you down fast enough. Yeah, I, th I don't feel like it's that hot. Yeah. The couch is small but comfy. Is it? Yeah, you didn't sit on it. Just the TV. This would be my workspace because I'm always working at the dining table. And then, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. And the fans aren't on in here. Okay, well, I guess that's it. And then, oh, the other bathroom. Because relationships hit y'all, separate bathrooms. Okay. This is, yeah, I mean, it's fine. We'll download about it after we get out of here more. And then a regular key. That's another thing. We prefer a keypad. Not the end of the world again, but you know. Okay. All right, baby. You want to get over to the next place? Baby, excuse me. Okay. So, because we are, we are cooking. Ah, gracias. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. All right, baby. Well, that's it. Ah, dale. Gracias. Oh, we got a little shot glasses in here, too. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then there's some pots. Oh, and there's a blender, which is also important to us. We do have a blender. Okay. The one that says one o'clock. Okay, gracias. Oh. No, baby, in the, I'm, I message you. This shit should all be. No, baby, in the, I'm, I message you. This shit should all be. Okay, so she and Bright, the, the answer to your question is yes. We do negotiate Airbnbs. That's a pro budget travel tip that I normally don't even be telling people, but y'all who be showing up live for me, y'all know I rocks with y'all. I'll tell y'all anything, <laughs> but yes. Um, we always negotiate Airbnbs. You know, we at least always try. You know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We actually thought we had a place yesterday. There was one place that we, um, there was one place that we 
thought we were gonna do and it was nice too it had good reviews and it was like i think it was 800 was it eight? Oh shit the fuck was that i think it was 800 thank you for the hearts and i asked him if he could go down to i think 650 and then he met me in the middle of like 700 so we were going to book that one and then i looked again and realized i didn't have a balcony so that is kind of the annoying part is that um because we have so many requirements and i swear y'all we're really not super bougie travelers but i mean like i said when you were traveling with somebody else and when you one both minute two, two? Minute okay when you are traveling with somebody else and you are like sharing a room sharing a bed and more importantly when you are both working from home meaning you're in the house a lot there are just certain things that you need like the put the the owner of the place that we're in right now she sent me this beautiful loft and i was like damn i mean oh my god i should show it to y'all actually i guess mm, no i can't because i don't have the screenshots um it's beautiful but it's a loft like i said so like we can't close the door and that's not gonna work because you know i wake up i wake up three hours earlier than him and he goes to bed three hours after me so we need to be able to have our own um we need to be able to have our own space so so yeah um it kind of is what it is that place just now it wasn't like it was fine babe what you think of that place okay he, he shook his head real quick he said no what didn't you like about it it's kind of hot in there like, i feel better out here but did you but with the balcony door open it really wasn't that hot also i feel like so that's oh why but baby if we way up there like the trees i know but i'm saying the trees ain't but then we have to be like lower down but um but yeah so whenever it comes to, like the ac like it's very common for there to be not ac in the apartments here and whenever i lived here in 2019 my apartment didn't have ac and it was never a big deal like it just it you know like it's again it doesn't really get hotter than like 85 here and it like there's almost always a breeze blowing hmm? Honestly, I was like, it didn't feel so homey I was like, I'm not sure. you said it didn't feel homey my baby wants something homey y'all now we, we actually both do um it, it had a lot of good reviews though like people love the reviews they love the location um, like I said, we do really love this neighborhood, but I think I would be, the, I would definitely would be considering it a lot more if it were more like a thousand, but for 1400, nah, like 1400, we can do better than that. So we are in a place that, oh, speaking of negotiation, it's listed on Airbnb for 1800 and I got them to come down to 1400. Now this place is nice. Like it's not, I mean, it's really nice in the photos, Airbnb for 1800 and I got them to come down to 1400. Now this place is nice. Like it's not. I mean, it's really nice in the photos. I've been calling me to see how it looks in person. But um, yeah, it was eighteen hundred. It also does not have AC. Now keep in mind, y'all. Somebody, and by somebody I mean my husband, was not even willing to consider a place that didn't have AC two days ago and then yesterday we saw this apartment that he fell in love with that did not have ac and then he wasn't even tripping he was like well you know we got the fans and i'm like oh yeah 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 now that you done seen this place mm -hmm. so i think there are two places we're going to look at today that does that do have ac but um one of them is going to be like 7 45 tonight so y'all definitely don't get to see that one but um yeah i mean the ac is definitely a plus it's not like I said, whenever I lived here for five weeks back in 2019, I also didn't have AC and it really wasn't a big deal, but I was living by myself, right? So now um, me and my husband are traveling together and this man himself is a fucking furnace. Like, so that's something else that we do consider is, you know, whenever we walk into a place, does it feel cool? Because, you know, we want to be able to sleep at night, shit. Like anybody got time to be staying up because it's, you know, hot outside. So that is another consideration. Um, yeah we'll see we we shall see um i always tell people that we don't get the best travel deals even though i'm even though like i'm always giving tips on how to get the best travel deals we don't get the best travel deals because we are almost always booking at the last minute we try to do better we really are like this year has just been there's just been a lot of like unexpected things happening and you know we've really just been having to go with the flow to be honest with you but um yeah it hasn't been the end of the world we uh, there was one place there was there was one place in thailand we hated so much we had to flee but which actually worked out fine our baby gave my money back it was chill and then there was another place that we had a love-hate relationship with like it had so many like places to eat right downstairs 
Um, the pool was, was the pool nice there? We did like the pool there, right? At the last place in Thailand? Yeah, the pool was nice. You know, it had a good gym. Um, but it really wasn't homey at all. So we actually hated that place, but we dug it out, okay? We did dug it out for a month. But yeah, so it's just, it really just depends, y'all. And that's another thing we want. We want a gym because we have now gotten spoiled where we can just work out right from, essentially work out from home. I mostly just work in the apartment anyway. I used to be a gym girly, but now that I've been living abroad, I've actually gotten accustomed to working out in the house. But I do still want to be to work, but we would prefer to have a gym. There are, um, there are some places that, like the couple places we looked at yesterday, there was like a gym up the street right this is one of those things where again it's not the end of the world it's just a matter of you know do you we want to have to do a 10 minute walk to go to the gym if it's something you're used to doing not having it right there then it is kind of like mm. so bonus bonus points if a place has a gym and a pool and an air fryer y'all this place we're going to right now has an air fryer i have a feeling we're going to fall in love so here's my here's my downside my toxic trait me and mel have both agreed that we really don't want to be paying more than a thousand dollars a month to live anywhere like we don't which is very very reasonable for the places we've been going to maybe not somewhere like japan but most of the places we've been to this year a thousand dollars a month is very reasonable um but i get caught up you know i am who i am like I, i'm a libra and i see shit and i'm like this is really nice and i want it and then first of all now you talk about mm -hmm, you don't even like this place i like this place better than you not for fourteen hundred. I don't want to stay here. If they're willing to cut down the price to eleven hundred, maybe we can talk. But, um, but yeah. So we really don't want to be paying more than a thousand. One of the reasons we lived abroad, we we left the U.S. was to you know have a more affordable life. And like I said, in most of the countries that we're in, you can get a great place for between like five hundred and a thousand dollars a month especially if you look further in advance and especially if you're willing to stay for like you know the whole year because a lot of times it is you know it's kind of like this is like in the states right if you go to rent an apartment like if you're willing to sign for a year you'll get a better deal so it's basically like the same thing here that by the uber was two minutes away okay because it's been like five minutes <laughs> um but anyway yeah so we we want a gym we want a pool we would love an air fryer we would also love a nice couch y'all the place that we were at in panama it had an american size couch and we didn't rent from an american um a woman who is from california but she's living in panama so we um she had a huge like sectional and it was just a, it was such a spacious apartment huge windows beautiful views all around and i'm not gonna lie i kind of set the bar for us and then we came to this place here and the place that we're at now, like I said, it's just temporary. So, you know, it is what it is. But at the same time, like, we was like, damn, we didn't realize they didn't have no motherfucking windows. Like, we came out, like I said, it's just temporary. So, you know, it is what it is. But at the same time, like, we was like, damn, we didn't realize they didn't have no motherfucking windows. Like, we can't even see outside. There's no... But we're about to see about this next place. We might be a little bit late to disappointment, but it is what it is. All right. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, just got an Uber. Thank you, God. He has the AC on because most of the time they don't. My hair is crazy, but it is what it is. It is what it is, y'all. I want. I think I might braid it soon, but I want to actually get like settled into a place before I braid my hair. But yeah, we are now in an Uber, and we are now on our way to our next place. So. Yeah, in the meantime, y'all can feel free to drop any travel questions. Also, please like and share this live. Can we get some hashtag FYP? Reset the room a little bit. And oh, it's real tight out here. Good God. I'm going to turn the camera. So y'all can see more of Medellin, but and they'll turn me off. Like they'll think that I'm driving or something, which I've never really understood to be honest with you because I'm like you do realize that in a car there are four other seats other than the driver's seat like I don't know why it just like defaults to assuming that I'm driving it's not like you see a, a steering wheel or anything thank y'all for the hearts but yeah like I said as we're headed to the next place feel free to drop any travel questions 
I will say that Columbia is the first, Columbia is the first place that we have, um, Columbia is the first place that we've traveled to twice. And I remember having like mixed feelings. I remember feeling like, oh my God, like we're going, like this is the first time I've like flown into the same, other than like, other than like Mexico, which I don't count because it's my second home. Um, but yeah, other than Mexico, babe, there's body tech. Okay, that body tech is not nice. That's not the one I was talking about. Or well, not in Poblado, of course not the one I'm talking about. Um, what was I just saying? I just lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, so I was thinking that, I was just kind of wondering how it was gonna feel to be back in a country I've been to before. I was like, am I gonna feel like been there, done that? But like, y'all, I'm loving Colombia. Like we are both really, really loving it here. So fun fact, the second day that we were here, we actually hung out with some black expats. So there are a lot of black expats in Colombia and in Medellin as well. So there's this, um, we're in like the a WhatsApp group of all the black people and there's this one woman who organizes these walks on Sunday, which was honestly really nice because after we got here, like we was doing a lot the last 48 hours in Panama. So by the time we got here, we was just kind of like, we ain't trying to do a whole lot, but we decided to go to the walk, which was really dope because we walked with what, at least like six other people maybe? Yeah, like we walked with like six other people. We met some other dope black people. I got some plugs. I got somebody who's gonna come to my apartment and do my nails do my nails y'all for $25 I'm talking design and everything I don't even get designs but like if I wanted to like gel like design $25 and she's gonna come to my house I got somebody to go get wax thank god because my eyebrows need it badly um I got a natural hair salon so like we already just had like my my husband already knows to like a place thinking of his haircut so that's really another thing that's important to us is going to a country that has like a lot of black expats we thought we were gonna get that in Panama, and we did, technically. There are a lot of black expats in Panama. What we didn't know is that they were all like retirement age. So we got there and we kind of got a rude awakening. Um, and we were in the groups beforehand, but I guess like we didn't really put two and two together until we got there and then we were like, and yeah, I'm not exaggerating. I'm talking like 95% of the expats there are like, I'm not even talking like 40s. I'm talking like twice our age and we are 31. I'm talking like 65 and up, which you know what, good for them, right? No shade, there's no shade against them. But you know, obviously if we want, if one of the main things that we look for in a country is a place that has a lot of black expats, then you know, we want a place that, is that gonna stay right there? We want a place that, um, you know, we're gonna be able to hang out with some people our age. So it was, um, it was just really dope to be able to come here and meet a lot of expats that are our age and um yeah there's this like black owned place here called skybox and like they play games and stuff not like when i say play i mean like they they show like sports games so me and my husband both like football so on sunday we're gonna go watch um at least one nfl game there and yeah we i mean i didn't expect to love it as much as i did here and again, I should say, it's like, I, I forgot how much I loved Columbia until I came back here. I, um, I would, me and my husband were talking yesterday. Thank you for the hearts. Me and my husband were talking yesterday about how one thing that we've learned, cause you know, this is our ninth country this year. So one thing that we have learned is that there's just some things we're not gonna explain. Like some people like, well, you know, people will be like, oh, what's your favorite? Or, you know, what do you like about this? And like we can answer those questions, but y'all there's sometimes there's some things you just can't really explain it. Like some of it really is a feeling. So like whenever we went to Thailand, damn, Thailand was our fifth country. Thailand was the first country where as soon as we got there within 24 hours both of us were like we can see ourselves living living here and there's so many things that we like about thailand but like again like one thing that i'm not going to be able to just like explain is that it's just like a feeling literally like it's just like a feeling that you get there and i have to say that out of all the countries we've been to this year i've only gotten that feeling twice once was in thailand and once was in colombia what's our eta baby what eight minutes. eight shit okay let me let me message her um can you actually message her babe and let her know that we're eight minutes away it's the i think her name is 
I don't remember. Just look at the, the photo and you should know. I think, I want to say her name is Anna. What part of Thailand? Heather, we went to... Oh, in the private one. I'll, I'll do it. Hold on, y'all. Heather, give me one. Went to... Oh, in the private one. I'll, I'll do it. Hold on, y'all. Heather, give me one. Went to... Oh, in the private one. I'll, I'll do it. Hold on, y'all. Heather, give me one second. Krabi and Chiang Mai. So we went to several places in um, in Thailand, but the place that we loved the most was Bangkok. You know, it's really funny because one of the reasons that we even moved in, in general off of North Carolina is because I told my husband that I wanted to be by the water. And it's been interesting because it turns out I just I don't know, like the convenience of a city. I'm still searching for my dream location that has a beach and a city, which Rio in Brazil is kind of like that. I actually really, really love Brazil as well. But um, yeah, I, yeah. And what's really funny is that we have been borderline like trying to not go back to Thailand because we're trying to remind ourselves that you know, we said that we wanted to see other parts of the world and we also said that we didn't want to be far away from our family for like a super long period of time. But we were talking about it last month and we were just like, you know, we talk about and reminisce on Thailand so much. Yes, she and Bright, we were in, we spent um, March in Vietnam. We were thinking that we talk about and reminisce on Thailand so much that it's crazy for us to just to not go there because like you know we are we have no kids we have no pets we have no mortgage and you know and both of our parents like they're they're all they're all in good health right like none of them like need ongoing caregiving or anything like that so we um did you get a visa when you got to thailand heather you, we you were just able to get it like on arrival in the airport we didn't have to like do anything special if you do want to stay more than 30 days you will need to get it extended we actually overstayed in Thailand, so we had to pay. So don't make the same mistakes with us. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so what's really funny is we, for the first time like ever, we actually considered staying, oh, let me actually put this out here first. So this year we're traveling around, but next year we plan on picking one country and like staying for a year. Um, I mean, we'll still like travel a little bit, like we'll still take a couple of trips, but for the most part, I'm moving my phone over because you remember I told y'all petty crime here. Sometimes when you have your phone that's close to the window, people can reach in and grab it. And the window is up. Um, so more than likely it's fine, but you know, why risk it? So anyway, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so a few, a few weeks ago for the first time, we actually entertained the thought of staying in Thailand all next year because before we were like 99% positive that we were going to do somewhere in Latin America because we we're like you know Latin America is like close enough for us to be able to visit home whenever we want you know as much as we need to blah 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 so um yeah living in one country yeah Heather that, that's the plan for next year is to just pick one spot and you know because don't get me wrong like traveling around is fun and like it's nice but it also is it's a lot of work it's a lot of moving around it becomes exhausting you know you're packing up i told my husband i said i never thought i would get to a point in my life where i'm tired of airports i am sick of airports i am sick of airports it has officially happened so um then the other thing is one of the main reasons we wanted to live abroad is because we wanted to have like a community somewhere else right like we wanted to meet some other like lifelong friends and that's hard to do when you're constantly moving because basically by the time you get into a routine and you know by the time you you know kind of figure out oh this is where I love to come for breakfast or I like walking past this spot as I go to you know the bar or whatever it is like you're gone and again like that's something that is really important is for us to like be somewhere and to actually become like part of a community which again is just really challenging to do whenever we are always moving around so yeah um so we had the very i don't mean a hard conversation i mean like oh my god which country are you gonna live in it's a good problem to have right we realize that um but it is still a tough conversation because thailand is far right 
being in Asia is a completely different ball game than being in Latin America. So, like, right now, if I really wanted to go home this weekend, I could, and it wouldn't be that big a deal. I'd probably have to, you know, keep, like, search around for the best flight deal. But I could go home this weekend. Like, we could go visit the States if we wanted to, and it wouldn't be a big deal. It's a one-hour time zone difference. In Thailand, it's a completely different ball game. With Asia, going home is an event, right? Like, you can go last minute, but chances are that flight number one is going to cost number two it's going to take you minimum one day to get there and probably two because i'm not doing no damn 16 15 hour flight unless i'm in business class okay um although we are playing around with the idea of like paying for a middle seat for some of our long flights because we've like done that middle seat hack several times since we have left the u.s and it is actually like it's not business class i'm not even gonna flex like it is because you still don't have the seat that lies down you know you, there's still a lot of things you don't get but that extra space of like him being on the outside, me being in the window and having a middle seat is actually like really solid. So we're actually considering playing around with that as like our version of upgrading our flights. But um, yeah, like, you know, like I said, it's just, not, it's just not as convenient as being able to just, you know, go home. And then you have the time zone, right? So it took me two weeks to get used to the time zone in Asia and then when I went back to the States to visit in July it took me like two weeks to not be taking naps at like 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. every day so like I said it's just a completely different lifestyle a completely different scenario for us to be living long term in Thailand versus living long term in Col versus living long term here in Colombia so let me make sure she didn't miss long term in Thailand versus living long term in Col versus living long term here in Colombia so let me make sure she didn't miss long term in Thailand versus living long term in color versus living long term here in Colombia. So let me make sure she didn't message me. Okay, I felt kind of bad because this is like the second showing that we're late to. I've mapped this out in my head and I don't want to, when whenever I, not even just in my head, like whenever I looked at it on my phone, this place was only supposed to be 10 minutes from some from where we just were. So I don't even know how we got all the way here. Y'all, the gag is that we have another showing at 2 and it's 1.37 and we're not even at our 1.30 yet. So I might go ahead and reach out to him and be like, it's going to be more like 2.15. We'll see. But yeah, so essentially right now, it's kind of like a little competition. It's like, okay, so the reason we decided to come to Colombia now, because, you know, we could have, would have gone, you know, some other places that we've never been before. But the reason we decided to come to Colombia now is to decide if this is a place that we would want to stay next year. And because, you know, we've already, we've already spent nine weeks in Thailand. We know that we love it there, but we're like, you know, let's give Colombia a chance to, because we both know that we love Colombia, but it's been a long time since we've been here. And we were traveling a little bit differently before than we are now. Um, so yeah, right now it's just kind of like Colombia versus Thailand. And we're just kind of seeing, I don't know, it'll be, I, I'm, I keep telling myself, Bianca, don't get ahead of yourself. Um, you know, it, what am I trying to say? Like, don't get ahead of yourself. You will, we'll see, right? We're planning on being here until November, y'all. So we have like literally like three months here. We have plenty of time to like really, matter of fact, babe, that'll be longer than we were in Thailand. We were in Thailand nine weeks. We'll be here for 12 weeks. So we have like, we definitely have time to really get to know the city and to, you know, see if we can see ourselves staying here for a year. And I ain't gonna lie to you, I already can. Like me and my husband have both already said like that. We really do love it here. So it'll be very interesting to see how we feel um oh, i thought we were stopping it'll be very interesting to see how we feel in a few months in terms of once january hits are we going are we going to be like yes let's go back to colombia or are we going to be like let's go back to thailand uh a very long drum roll until that decision is made 
So we are pulling, we're, well, we're almost pulling up to the next Airbnb, the one that, so there's another really nice one too. It's in this like, this area that they call like Paris Parco. So it has like a Paris vibe. Okay. See? Gracias. Ciao. That is a squeaky door. That's it, Beyond. Mm, wait a minute. Is that the name? Yes, B. You sure? Hola. All right, y'all. We are here heading into the next Airbnb. Gusto, Camilo. Bianca, mucho gusto. Camilo. Okay. like this wow see look at those views all right let's see here we are okay okay it's a little smaller than i anticipated oh gracias okay they'll give us some freebies we here for it This is, okay, a dryer is a plus, y'all, because normally it's just a washer, which is fine. We can hang clothes up, but like, obviously, if we can have a dryer, that's amazing. Microwave. I know I saw an air fryer in here. Now I want to put eyes on it. Like, where is it? This little oven here? This is so cute. Look, it's small, but y'all, I'll take it because a lot of these places do not have an oven. And like I said, we like to cook, so... Yes, baby, eyes on the air fryer. Confirm, air fryer, rice cooker, toaster. I don't see a blender. Uh, tienes un, no sé cómo se dice español, pero como um, para, para mezcla como like frutas, las frutas y venduras. Sí, sí, eso. Yep, we got a blender. Okay, plates and all of that. Extra space up here. Okay, this is very nice. Just a lot smaller than I anticipated. <laughs> like, this is... The couch is comfy. It's just very close to the TV. The couch is definitely... Yeah, it, it's bigger, which is nice. I feel like they don't need this chair here. Like, this chair is kind of doing a lot. Um... And as far as like me working, that's the only thing is I'm like, where am I going to work? I normally work at the dining table. I could work here. Is there an outlet? Uh, I do not know how to say outlet in Spanish. Uh, I un, uh, para like para mi computadora to like plug in. Ah, sí, sí. Pero, pero no, no hay aquí. No, solo. Hay Wi-Fi. See, no, 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 pero solo for like to charge. Ah, oh my God, see. <laughs> SOS, very dull. Okay, there is an outlet right there. I missed that. Okay, but I got a whole little work area here. There is a coffee maker. We don't use, we don't drink coffee, so we wouldn't use it, but there is a coffee maker. This is a nice little workspace. We got a bathroom. Another one of these shower heads I don't like. <laughs> Okay, they don't really have a lot of space for me to put my stuff in the shower. That's another thing I've noticed. Like, I hate having to put my shit on the floor. Um, but very clean, which, of course, I love. This is... Oh, baby. Most... Oh, never mind. This is still in the bedroom. Just kidding. I was about to say the bathroom outside of the bedroom. This is definitely still in the bedroom. If we do consider going back to one bathroom, it has to be outside of the bedroom. Like, I need to turn the light on. There we go cute more counter space in here still no shower caddies i mean so like not a lot of space to put this stuff in the shower also y'all this place does not have ac this is so cute though this is very nice it just needs ac <laughs> um not a ton of well hold on let me look in the closet let me look in the closet Where's this Airbnb? Bliss, we are in Colombia, in Medellin. 
Medellin, Medellin, however you say it. Okay, no, there's definitely places to put the clothes. Okay, cool. Got it, got it. This is very nice. It's just a little warm. Is that a lamp? That is so cool. Oh, wow. That is cute. This place is so nice. This is a second bedroom, which will be storage for us. So more places for us to put our clothes, our suitcases. This is nice. What do you think, baby? You like it? How do you feel about the the air situation? Oh, podemos ver? Perfect. Okay, so we can look at the gym as well. Very nice size balcony. Beautiful views over there. Okay. Oh, look at that cactus. You see the cactus, baby? It like swirls. We love this. How do you say this? Como se dice para eso? Balcon. Balcon? Sí. Balcon. 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 Oh, balcon. Yeah, like balcony. Okay, got it. Balcon. I keep thinking this is a door, but it's a mirror. Um, it is a little small, but I could work out like back here, like for the TV. We could also move the couch. But I just feel like this to me feels very small. Like, I feel like this black chair over here is very unnecessary. Um, but you said what? Yeah, I mean, the workspace over there is nice, but you know I like to work. And you know I like to work at the table. I don't like to work at it. Because I don't like to look at a wall. Like, I like to look up and have, like, something to see. That's my only hang-up. But I could work here. It wouldn't kill me. It's nice. And they are willing to come down to 1400 from 1800 My only thing is the... The air. Huh? I mean, it's, like I said, it's hard to tell when we come right from outside. Because, you know, it, it takes... We have not been in here long enough. And also in here, like, this is the only source of air. Like, we couldn't open a window. So it's like if we wanted air, we would have to have the balcony door open. Yeah, I know. It's very breezy. Like, it feels good. How many fans are there? Did you see just one? Just one? Okay. There's one and then, yeah, there are two fans, so we could definitely move one. Okay, it's very nice. Okay, let's go see the gym. See, sí. gracias. Okay. I need to tell my two o'clock that we're gonna be a little bit late. Hold on, y'all. Gracias. Okay. I need to tell my two o'clock that we're gonna be a little bit late. Hold on, y'all. Okay. It's nice. I know I love that air fryer. <laughs> that air fryer is like, oh my God, that's exactly what I need. The bedrooms are really nice. The bathrooms are nice. I'm saying is the way you talk about this air fryer, you better be using this I am every going to. single day. I will use it. Day. First of all, I use air fryer every day whenever we were in North Carolina. Okay, I was saying. always using that air fryer to heat up food, to make bacon. <laughs> all right, we're going to go check out the gym area. Okay, they got a little. So this is a terrace, apparently. Oh, wow. Holy moly, look at these beautiful views. Oh, goodness. This is stunning. Holy moly donut shop. These views are beautiful. Ah, okay. And then here's the gym. Oh, baby, this gym is... Ah, okay. Ah, no, 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 it's necessary. Gracias. Um, this gym is tiny. There is, this is not a gym. there no, it's not a gym. It's a treadmill and a thing over there. I don't even think I see. I do see some dumbbells, but you know. And then this is a jacuzzi. That is, I mean, I guess at night it would be you know cooler if you wanted to tan. Interesting to have a jacuzzi and not a pool. But this area itself is dope. Like, I'm positive. I remember. Yeah, these views, man. Goodness, so beautiful. I think that's Commune 13 over there. 
I remember in the thing when she was listing all the places that are nearby and she was like a five minute Uber ride or something like that. Y'all in Castellana. Nope, we are in Medellin. Okay, gracias. Beautiful views all around. Gracias. All right, y'all. This is Airbnb number numero dos. Damn, I can't see her with these glasses on. What is Castellana? Is that in Colombia? What are you thinking? You like it or you love it? Huh? Hmm. Like it enough to say yes to it or no? Maybe. We don't have enough time to look around the area. Can you go ahead and get the Uber to the next place? Yeah, sí, pero gracias. This is nice. Okay. Ah, sí, sí, muchas gracias. Buen día, gracias. Okay. All right, Airbnb number two. We definitely like it better than the first one. And y'all keep in mind, those two are the same price. Like the one, the first one that we looked at and the one we look at just now are the same price. <laughs> so this is why I say sometimes, you know, it be taking some time to look around because because we really want to pay a thousand. I'm like, if we're going to pay fourteen hundred, that shit better have the works. Very, very cute flipping neighborhood. Um, Babe, how far is that place from here? Shit. Okay. Yeah, we're late. That's fine. I told him 215. Do you want to... Um, I mean, we don't really have time, but I mean, I feel like if we are really considering this place, we should peep the neighborhood a little bit. So like yesterday, whenever we went and looked at places, like we didn't... We, we kind of left enough time in between for us to like browse the neighborhood because that's really important to us for us to be somewhere that is um, like walkable. I think there's just going to be houses over here. I think if we're looking for restaurants, we're going to need to go the other way. Yeah, that's just like more houses. I think that's where the people with money at. Are you getting that vibe? Uh. All right. How far is the Uber? Yo, I didn't call one. I oh. walking away. No, 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 no. Call an Uber. Cause we, cause we're supposed to the other place at two o'clock. We can go ahead and do that. I just want to get to the street. Hopefully, it'll be like four minutes away. I just want to get to the street and just like look at that apartment. That shit looks nice. That Rio, just be you. This is Colombia. Did you guess from the flag or did you guess from something else? Parque Primero. What's Parque Primero? First park. Oh. Two minutes? Shit. Okay, let's run. Not literally run. Just like walk fast. All right. Um, so we do like this apartment. So it is a consideration. Jesus. So we just want to see if there are, like how walkable it is. And if there are places to, like places that we can like walk to to get food and stuff. Thank y'all so much for the hearts. I appreciate it. Ariza, a barrio. It might be conquistadores. Are you talking about where we're at now? Oh no, we're in um, holy shit, we're near Laurelas. Uh, still neighborhoods, baby. Is there a beach nearby? Absolutely not. You said what, babe? There's not. Oh shit. All right, y'all. My man looked on the map, but he said there's not that many like restaurants around here. That is red flag energy because we need to be able to like walk out of our door and within like five to 10 minutes, we need to be able to have like minimum three different food options. Pros of Colombia, 
versus Panama. The expats here are younger, <laughs> first of all. Um, both countries. A seven minute walk. Maybe I don't want no cafe. I want some real food. I want some local food. Who got the chicken and rice? Around here? Okay. Well, I don't. Um, oh, excuse me, how far is that away? Seven minute walk. I mean, a seven minute walk ain't bad, but let's acknowledge that where we at now, we have like a one minute walk to like five, probably more than five places to eat. You think this is Uber? Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, sorry. So pros, we better get an Uber. It's not it? Oh, just kidding. I thought we were about to get an Uber, but we're not. Um, yeah, so pros of Colombia versus Panama. Like I said, the expats here, there's more diversity in the age versus in Panama, where most of the black expats are retiring. Um, what's another pro? Of, it's cheaper. Shit. It, Panama is expensive. Um, I would say like, so we were in Panama for five weeks. I would say the last like two weeks, babe, like we kind of found like more places that like weren't mm -hmm. as expensive, but Colombia is definitely cheaper than Panama. Um, like here we get like, like I said, like around the time we were leaving, we did find some places where we could get meals for like five or six dollars. But it's more so one of those things where you sort of have to search for it versus here where in general it's just it's just cheaper all around so um sir you go open the door i'm hollering thank you baby when i start this okay on to the next place baby when i start this okay on to the next place hold on Okay. We should have asked them for one of them waters in there. <laughs> he had a cold water right in that refrigerator. We should have grabbed one. Okay. We're in another Uber who does not have on the AC. So, I mean, we, honestly, I could probably ask, but I won't. It's fine. The air actually normally feels good, but we're just kind of hot right now. Yeah, yeah. Once we start moving, it'll start blowing again. But, you know, I always got my fan on deck, okay? Um, Colombia versus Panama. So I said, more diversity in the age. Are you moving to there? Um, that's a tricky question. <laughs> we're we're already here. Like we're we don't we don't have like an official home. We left the U.S. back in February, and we've been moving around. But we are planning on being here for the next three months, and then we're going to decide if we want to come back here and live here all next year. Is basically what's happening here with us. Um, so, oh, maybe it's only six minutes. I thought you said 17 minutes away. Oh, so we're only six minutes away? Shit, okay, let me tell him. Never mind. Hold on. Oh, so we're only six minutes away? Shit, okay, let me tell him. Never mind. Hold on, y'all. Okay, we're actually not that late, which would, would make it feel better. We're only six minutes away. Um, other things, Colombia versus Panama. Because Panama has so much water, um, which I'm a water girl, I'm not going to lie. That is one thing that I would say is not a pro. It's a pro for Panama and not for Colombia. So the place we were at in Panama, like literally from our apartment, we could see the water. Like you just, can y'all still hear me okay? We in a tunnel, bear with me. But in Panama, hold on. Ooh. Okay. 
also in Panama there was a lot more water so that's something that I like because you know I can do a lot more you can do there there is there are beaches in Colombia from what I've seen and heard it is kind of hard to find a clean a lot more you can do there there is there are beaches in Colombia from what I've seen and heard it is kind of hard to find a clean one is what it's not necessarily like a place you're gonna come like if you want to go to the beach thank you for the hearts um so yeah that is one thing i will say i will miss about panama delicious seafood like super fresh like this ceviche oh my god y'all like we saw a sign somebody had where like they were advertising ceviche i was like i am not eating ceviche anywhere that is not on the coast if i can't see the water where the fish came from i'm not interested laddie thank you for the gift i appreciate it um so I would say Panama versus Colombia. That is a point for Panama that gets deducted from Colombia. What else, baby? Differences in Panama versus Colombia. The weather. It is Medellin has like that springtime weather year round. Like it kind of goes back and forth between like 67 and like 85, like year round. Like that's so it's, it's literally perfect weather all year. Like I said, if you're in the sun, it can get hot. Um, I mean, 85 is you know that's close to 90. So I mean, it it, it can get hot, but it's not like. Panama. Um, Panama is uh, Panama is very, very humid and very hot. And funny enough, we weren't even there. We were in Panama during rainy season, and which means if we thought it was hot, then it's gonna be worse. Um, like outside of rainy season. So I would say that's another difference. It's not as hot here, which I really appreciate because I really miss being able to like go out and take walks. And that's also another thing with Thailand. Um, those of you who were on earlier, you heard me talking about how as far as like where me and my husband choose to live next year, it's probably going to come down to Colombia versus Thailand. And we, I mean, y'all, I can go on and on and on about all the things that I love about Thailand. Thank you for the hearts. But it's so hot there. Like it is, even like when you wake up, and even like seven in the morning, it's already like 85 degrees, and which is really frustrating because number one, I like to go out and take walks. Well, also I like to like show y'all around the city and stuff which is really hard to do during the daytime because most people are hiding in the house. Now, they do have some really dope malls. So like whenever I was in Thailand, I would go live and I would like be in the mall a lot, but I do like to actually be outside. Um, what are the differences, baby, between Colombia and Panama? Yeah, I said that already. The cost, the, la the, the language, not the language, but the dialect. So I do speak Spanish. And Panama is the first Spanish-speaking country I have ever been to where I said something to somebody in Spanish and they thought I was speaking English. And not all Spanish is the same, right? So first of all, you have like Latin American Spanish versus like Spain Spanish. That's like two completely different things. But then even in like Latin America, which I don't know how many Latin American countries there are, probably like, hell, 20, 25. And um, the dialects are different. So, you know, think about like, how in the u.s right like obviously the language is english but people in the midwest talk different from people in the north who talk different from people in the south and you know even but you can still like because you know english like you'll be able to know what people are saying but sometimes you might have to be like what so in panama the spanish was real different and i've been to quite a few spanish-speaking countries and i will tell you that panama and chile are the two countries with the most different unique Spanish and that was kind of hard. that was hard on my ego first of all because I was like WTF why can't you like how could you think I'm speaking English and I'm literally speaking Spanish um not this man messaging me talking about I see you haven't completed your direct deposit forms damn give me a chance it's only been two days <laughs> um um oh yeah yeah that too that's gonna be a good one um, so yeah, so like the language, like even though they both speak Spanish, the dialect is different. Like to me, the Spanish here is a lot easier. And when I say easier, I mean, it's a lot more universal. So that's another difference between Colombians, Colombia and um, Panama. Another thing that my husband just reminded me of is like the people. Um, Colombians, in my opinion, are a lot more friendly than Panamanians. We did meet like, you know, we met some really nice and some really cool Panamanians, but in general, as far as like just being out and about in like social settings colombians are a lot like they're just more they're friendlier in my opinion versus panamanians panamanians are a little bit more 
standoffish they seem a little bit more like impatient if you don't know the language and um they're not as they're not as likely to just like talk to you right to like make conversation um like like in colombia like that again like that's been my experience somebody else might argue me otherwise but um me and my husband both both kind of agree on that um that was quite a few things anything else baby for panama and colombia the food is the food is different um but similar and there's also a lot of colombians in panama by the way because they, they do border each other i don't think I, I feel like I feel like Colombia is just I mean honestly Colombia is just sexier if I'm being very honest with you like it just it is like Colombia is like a sexier place and there's in my opinion there's a lot more to do here it's I mean Panama is an entire country so you know I'm not saying that um I'm not saying that um you know there's not stuff to do in Colombia and of course I mean in Panama of course there is it's an entire country and, I, and we were only in Panama City there's other places in Panama that we didn't even visit but I feel like Colombia is just Colombia is just like a sexier place um it's more trendy like Medellin is like really is very much known for having like really really like good food and yeah I think I feel like Colombia is just more of a vibe you know what I mean like if you still like you know young and litty Colombia is going to be more of a spot to be versus Panama again in my opinion but at the end of the day you know they're both great countries I enjoy I enjoyed our time in Panama I ate a lot of good food in Panama I partied in Panama like it um could you make Thursday 926 mm. starting at what see here they go with this podcast trying to get me to do these evening recordings I'm like y'all want to leave me alone I don't want to record in the evening but then I also am like, be flexible, Bianca. This is why people say, this is why people say you don't be available. <laughs> Are you still doing focus groups? Um, do you mean like the paid interviews, Naya? Hey girl, when'd you join? Um, yeah, so, well, yes and no. I never did focus groups. I only did the paid interviews. I've never been chosen for a focus group. Most of the ones I applied to are just the paid interviews. And yes, I did one, I did two. Was it last week or was it two weeks ago? Within the last two weeks, I've done two. One was... $50 and one was one was $75 and I actually used um, Airbnb gift cards to pay for the Airbnb that we are currently staying in so yes I do still do those I do still check the websites at least three times a week and I apply 10,000% yes cut me because that's easy money and we like easy money okay this guy messaged me back hold on real quick because that's easy money and we like easy money okay this guy messaged me back. Hold on real quick. Because that's easy money. And we like easy money, okay? This guy messaged me back. Hold on real quick. Because that's easy money. And um, okay. Okay, yeah, we are here. But this guy has not messaged me back. So now I'm kind of like, has not messaged me back. So now I'm kind of like, hold on. Okay, now I'm like slightly concerned that we got stood up because like he hasn't messaged me back. Even when I told him that we would be here around 2.15, he never messaged me back. But this is the place. Oh, someone was saying that like the, the subway can get really loud. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see anybody. And this is also the place where they said they're not friendly towards Airbnb. So let's not go in there. Let me see your phone. I'm going to log in and then... Oh, okay. You can get gelato right here. <laughs> All right, we're in a gelato place for water. Although we should be in here for gelato. So Snickers must be a popular flavor here. 
This is a cute little neighborhood that we in. to get logged in to see why this man not messaging me back because he got me over here like hello sir we have an appointment so i'm gonna need for you to respond let me get my verification code eight zero five zero five four Okay, he's typing maybe. I think he's coming. Here we go. Really? Damn, thirsty. You done drank all this water already. What did he say? He's waiting for them. He's waiting for who? We are in front of the building. Who is he's waiting for them? Is someone coming down? Why does your voice text not work? It's in my ear. Oh. All right, y'all. Trying to get in to our next spot. I'll be telling y'all. Mm, I'll be showing y'all. What? This one, another one at seven. Yeah. Um, I'll be telling y'all. He says he's about to come down and let us in. I'll be showing y'all all sides of travel. This is travel. Sweaty faces, hair looking a hot mess, waiting on people to let us into the building. This is shit they don't post about the content creators, <laughs> but this is part of it. How are you dressed? Red shirts. Damn, baby, you drank all the water. Hey, Kimberly. So, for some of the Airbnb reviews for this one, it was really just that one review, honestly. It was like one out of five, but this one woman was saying how like they don't like Airbnb here and hola. 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 Si. Sí. Oh, gracias. Si, sí? English or no? No, no okay, es Espanol todo bien. Perfecto. Okay, we here. Adelante. 
Wow, this is nice. Okay. Definitely a nice building. Wow, the elevator is far. Oh, it's not far, just kidding. Here it is. I can already tell this place is nice. We're supposed to be at the next place at three. Um, so we're supposed to be at the next place at three, the Paris place. Do you wanna um, see how far away it is? Muchas restaurantes de todo. Cerca. Sector. Sí, Provenza. Eh, ah. Está Provenza. Está um, Lleras. Perfecto. All right, y'all. Airbnb number eh, three. Recién nos salió esta mañana una reserva. Entonces estamos haciendo aseo. Estamos arreglando. ¿Listo? Ok. I don't know what she said, y'all. Ok, so so far all keys we haven't seen like keypads we do prefer a little keypad because we'd be losing keys but you know we'll make it work it's the best ones when we can't get locked out work. it's the best ones when we can't get locked out she went out a helmet she said i may be small but i'm a Look, let's Airbnb. Oh, she came a little feisty over here. Buenas. <laughs> Buenas. Gracias. Okay, washer. Okay. Okay. Another. Esto. Sí. La otra reserva que salió esta mañana no lo dañó, pero ya lo arreglamos eh, mañana en la mañana. Ok, ¿Listo? perfecto, gracias. Cocina completamente dotada, nevera. Perfecto. Acá tienen de todo. Ok, microwave, ¿Listo? glasses, plates, mm -hmm. ok. Ajá, Para cocinar esto. Uh -huh. eh, microondas. Ok, microwave. Estufa. Aquí, ollas. Ok, Cafetera, so we do have a blender, mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah. Just like extra. Okay. Okay. Washer. Oh, los dos. Wind dryer. Okay. Al balcón. The pool. Oh, look at that pool. Pool jacuzzis. Okay. Okay. Views, baby. Look at the views. Aeropuerto. Sí. Oh. Aeropuerto. Oh wow. There's the airport. Yeah, it's muy hermosa. Okay. Views over here as well. No chairs out here though, which is kind of. What chairs? What do you, what do, you do? Bring the bar stools? Yes. There's no dining table, so I don't really have anywhere to work in here unless I work at the bar. Okay. Hot tub. Okay. Half bath. That's a big bed. Okay. Okay, got a good roller sheet. And then this is the master bath. Or head better. There is nowhere for me to put my stuff. Better. There is nowhere for me to put my stuff. 
Like, there is nowhere for me to put my stuff. Like, ah, I see. In, in La Mañana, ¿cierto? Sí, sí. Sí. Yeah. Yeah. Sí. Gracias. 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 Um, are those ashtrays? Okay. Uh, what do you think about the air, baby, as far as like, how cool it is in here? It's fine. It's fine. Baby, as far as like, how cool it is in here? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You said it all kind of feels the same. How do you okay with this bathroom? Isn't it interesting that the bathroom is like, it has like the the public bathroom toilet paper holder. Look at it. You don't even see. You just like glancing. You're not even looking at nothing. How do y'all feel about this Airbnb? It's cute. It's a little. I don't know. I don't know. Like it's like it's nice. It, it's nice. It's just it's not really giving to me. I don't know. Like I don't. It, it gives me a hotel room vibe, to be honest with you. I do love these views, though. I don't know. Like, I don't... It, it gives me a hotel room vibe, to be honest with you. I do love these views, though. Oh, my God. These views are... Oh. Yeah. How much is... I think this one is 12. So this one is a little bit less. See? Sí. Oh, okay. See. Sí. Perfecto. Él es el jefe. See? Sí. Ah, sí. es perfecto. I do love this balcony, but damn, I want some chairs out here. Oh my god. Oh, hay un gimnasio? Podemos, podemos ver, verlo? Okay, es, this, es, es con la piscina, el gimnasio? Ah, so it's down here, the gym. It's clean, it is clean. I wanna see the gym. El gimnasio? Ah, so it's down here. The gym, it's clean. It is clean. I want to see the gym. Do you want to see it, Mel? The gym down here. The gym, it's clean. It is clean. I want to see the gym. Do you want to see it, Mel? The gym. The next place we're going to visit is like 20 minutes away, which gives us like 25 minutes. Okay, that gives us like five minutes to look around the area. Maybe not even. We'll have to see. But it is nice here. Let's check out the gym. I want to get in that pool right now. Y'all kind of see the struggle, right? Like, okay, see. I love that these places have a lot of really beautiful like outside air wow this is a this is huge wow and look at these views y'all i don't even know how these views look from the camera but i can tell you in person they are stunning so she says like we're in poblado but like i mean is this the street we came in on right here so she's saying there's a lot of restaurants i'm like well, where they at though like, cause they don't look like they're over that way. Maybe they're on the other side. Oh, hold on. She going in the other direction. Why not? Ah, dale. All right, we're on the wrong floor. It's there it is. It's on the second floor, the gym, not the not this floor. Must be Del Rio Poblado. Es Del Rio Poblado? 
or El Poblado? El Poblado, sector Poblado. El Poblado? Sí. Ah, oh, okay. Esto es Guayabal. Guayabal, pero es poblado. Ah, okay. Al frente está Provenza, está... ¿Dónde? Porque no, no, no vi... No, caminando no, es aquí cruzando. Cruzando la autopista. ¿Qué es cruzando? Eh, pasando la calle. Ah, ok, ok. Pero es... Um, ¿Podemos caminar? Eh, sí. Sí. Claro, sí. Ok, ok. Sí, es 10 minutos caminando. Ok. En carro... Sí, dos, dos minutos. minutos dos, tres minutos. Dale. So she said like a 10 minute walk and that's where kind of like everything is. Ah, that's muy cerca? Sí. Okay. Okay. Yeah, babe, we keep forgetting to ask about grocery stores, which we need to know because yeah. that's, yeah, she said um, there's a supermarket. Or... Yeah, babe, we keep forgetting to ask about grocery stores, which we need to know because that's, yeah, she said um, there's a supermarket, or a supermarket very close to here. Um, you got to cross the freeway. Man, that's extra. We spoiled y'all. The place we're in right now, like, I can't even explain it to y'all. Because literally. Sí. Ah, here it is. Like, the place we're in now, as soon as you walk out the door, it's like restaurants. Seven, uh -huh. seven to eight p.m. That can't be right. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Wow. This is a nice gym. Okay. We ain't been in a gym this nice in a long time. Que muy bueno. Si, si, mucho. Oh, a leg press? Oh. Maybe this place might be looking a little better. Inner, outer, thigh. Not be better work my inner thighs in here. Oh, baby. Is that a squat rack? Oh, I'm getting hot, y'all. I don't have a squat rack. Oh, we love to squat. Yeah, I see you smiling. Over there I see you smiling. Uh huh. Did you see? Wait, where are the dumbbells? Do they have heavy weights? Okay, yeah, 25 kilograms. They got big weights, baby. Aquí abajo, donde estaba esperándome, ahí está supermercados. Aquí. Okay. Tienda de todo. ¿Cuál supermercado? Ahí adelantico. Donde usted estaba esperando hay un supermercado si quieren comprar cosas cuando estén acá. Entonces ya con Erwin tú hablas para ver si cierran y pueden ingresar mañana. Okay. Ya él me avisa a mí cualquier cosa. ¿Les gustó? Uh, sí, ¿Les gustó? sí, ah, sí. Sí, tenemos, tenemos dos más para, para mirar, sí, para, para ver, sí. Y, pero necesitamos decidir hoy. Perfecto. Es sí. muy bueno porque también tenemos otra persona interesada para ingresar pasado mañana. Okay. Eh, yo también ya lo voy a mostrar ahorita a las 5 de la tarde. Entonces es muy bueno que si les gusta, tomen la decisión y cerremos. Okay. Listo. Dale, gracias. Cualquier cosita, no sé si saben ya salir o los acompañó a portería. Uh, ¿Uno más es? ¿Le acompañó para la salida o ya saben salir? Les enseño. Uh, necesitamos, um, hmm, we need to like pedir un Uber for la próxima <laughs> lugar. Because we don't have time, we don't have time to look around, do we? Ah, lo pueden pedir en el lobby, en el lobby. ¿Qué es en el lobby? Eh, en el estante, donde okay. yo estaba, ahí lo pueden pedir. Okay. Um, we don't really have time to look around, do we? I mean, I can probably tell them 315 if, do you want to look around or no? I mean, are we, do you like this place? I feel like it gives me hotel vibes, which I have mixed feelings about, but I feel like the area, I would be, I kind of want to see the area. I feel like it gives me hotel vibes, which I have mixed feelings about, but I feel like the area, I would be, I kind of want to see the area. See, y'all, we just want to combine everything into one Airbnb. If we could put this gym in hell, any of them, <laughs> that gym is so nice. Okay. Eh, Bianca, cualquier cosa le inscribí a Erwin. Sí. Y toma la decisión para que se pueda hacer por el aparcamiento. Sí. Listo. Y um, queremos ver poblado, um, como, like, which way, like, how do we get there? Okay. Spanglish, y'all. Uh -huh. Gracias. Allá. Sí. Listo, ya. Okay. Al fondo y cruza. Ahí, poblado. Perfecto. Ok. Listo. Vamos. Gracias. Chao.
I can message him. Um, babe, actually, you can message him. It's the one for, it's the Paris one. The one with the Eiffel Tower photo. Can you let him know it's going to be like 315? All right, y'all. We about to see how walkable this area really is. Because this, to me, feels very not local. Like, this is not really good. I mean, I shouldn't say not local, but like, you know what I mean? What do you think of the apartment? It was fine. So you don't love any of these is what it sounds like. Because you, you like it better than the last one? It's not homey to me. Yeah, like it feels I like we can get some fruit right there. Like I, I feel like it gives me hotel vibes. You were talking about Manila. Oh, you know, we were trying. Yes, we were trying to find Manila yesterday, but we gave up because it was so hilly and it was hot. And we was like, fuck it. Because the, the woman was like, yeah, it's right there. And it's like, that's what I'm saying. You got to you got to check people whenever they tell you like it's right there. Because, again, the place that we're staying at right now, y'all, we literally walk out the door and we can we can like see with our eyes like five different restaurants and like bars and stuff. And then you go up the block and it's like a dope ass park with like, it's just, we love the area we're in right now. <laughs> and none of these places we've looked at today compares like even in the slightest. Like that first place, well, no, I'm lying. Because the first place we were at was actually in the same neighborhood. So I lied, but we don't like that place. <laughs> the second place was beautiful, but like there weren't really a lot of like restaurants and stuff around it why not stay where you are because it's scarce too small it is it is tiny we need more space no we don't we ain't got no windows we don't have a balcony girl trust me we 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 even play we love the area we're in so much we try to play around and we were like we cannot do this we have to have and we're in a fucking full-size bed we too big for that shit so yeah and the woman the um that was loud the host who we are renting for r renting from right now she actually has other properties she's literally sent me like three other places because she's trying to get me to like book with her again but like none of the places that she sent me have worked baby she where do we cross i know that's what i'm saying well, blah, don't. Or you could look up Provenza. Trust me, I wish our current apartment. We should have. We should have poured that water in this water bottles. Trust me, I wish that our current apartment was better because we ten out of ten would stay there. But it's not. 52-minute walk to Provenza? That's not it, baby. That says Porton de Provenza. You're looking for La Provenza. Y'all, y'all not close to. Somebody on live said we are not close to Provenza. We don't feel like we are. No, I'll tell you that much. It don't feel like it. One point four, I think is this. Two point five miles. So then, what the hell is she talking about? Well, then let's just see where we can cross, baby. Let's see if we cross if there's anything to go over there. Because if not, then it's a no. Like I, I like this. Like I like like this sidewalk area. Like it's nice to walk. Or I feel like even if I wanted to go running. I could do that here, but this is the thing, y'all. Whenever we are looking at Airbnbs, like we always have to, we always have to remind ourselves what's more, what's most important. Like it honestly sucks to see a gym that nice and know that we probably won't stay here because, like that gym, we have, we have not seen a gym that nice in anywhere we have been since we left the U.S. You can maybe say Vietnam, but don't even count because we weren't even staying at that place. So, um. They trying to sell it. She exaggerated. You might be right because, yeah, I'm not even. 
I'm not even saying where the hell you cross this damn road. And look, even when you cross, babe, on the other side, like, it's like a, a cross cross. Like, I was thinking maybe they have one of those things where you go up the stairs, you know what I mean? Like, you go over the highway, but I'm like, where the fuck do you cross? Do you think she literally meant just walk across? Well, I don't know, baby, because... You want to go all the way down here? I just don't... I mean, is it going to be any different? Because what are we... Well, let's walk over here and just look and see. Oh, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is there stuff over here? No. It's not giving confidence. It's not really looking like it, baby. What do you want to do? Do you want to try to look or do you want to go... <laughs> he said ain't nothing in Guay Ooh, Guayabal, which is where we are. Damn. All right, baby, well, then let's go to the next place. All right, well, then that was the last time we're going to see that gym. <laughs> oh, damn, that's devastating. I'm so hurt. Lawrence, why they do us like that? Like, why did they do us like that? Because we looked up for Provincia and that shit said two and a half miles. Are you peeing? Let me look away. Because you might be. Because men are disgusting. Oh, man. Oh, damn. Honestly, I didn't want to say her anyway, though. Because I, cause it looks like a hotel room. Like, it, that place didn't feel homey at all. Like, it was like, here's a bed. Here's a couch. Like, like it, that place didn't feel homey at all. Like, it was like, here's a bed. Here's a couch. Like, it did not feel like a home. And that is something that's important to us. Was that our third or fourth place today? Third. Babe, I think it was a third. It was that one. The really nice one. And then the one we walked to. Bob Saget. Babe, why don't we get the Airbnb in front of the place? Because if they come here, then they have to come this way. Versus, like, down there, they might be able to, um... They might have more options. Parque Primero y Segundo. Full of Airbnb. Cool area. Man, listen. We cannot look at... We cannot, like... We were supposed to... Y'all, we were supposed to be out of our place today. And we already booked the extra day. We got to pick one of these places. And so here's the, here's the funny thing. There's actually a place that we looked at that we like. That's only $900 for the month. It's like the cheapest one. It looks nice. The problem is there are no reviews. And we said that we were not going to stay anywhere else that did not have any reviews. However, we said that we would make an exception for here because we can go see it in person, right? Like, okay, no reviews, but no big deal because at least you can go see it. Why are these motherfuckers talking about we don't do apartment showings? Y'all, I, I practically begged. I was like, we're really interested. And, you know, we can just, like, come in and out. And they were just straight up, like, the skybox is in Parque Segundo. Okay, Lawrence, how long you been here? Um, You better be knowing all about Columbia. See, that's the benefits when you actually stay in the place, y'all. The way we've been moving around, that's why we don't ever be knowing shit about the places we stay in two years that's amazing where are you from um but yeah so there is another place that we're trying to be open-minded about because here's the thing this is like obviously every single airbnb we have booked in the past we booked without seeing it in person right like that's a very normal thing to do but now that we're here okay detroit um now everybody from the 313 put your motherfucking hands up and follow me <laughs> i'm sorry i had to do it <laughs> um yeah i don't know i love the price 900 is a great price the airbnb looks good but like why won't they show it to us and there's like this like the pictures look good there's this one photo of the bathroom 
where there's like some scratches on the bottom of the mirror and i don't like stuff like that because in my experience whenever you see one little nick like that there's other stuff and so i really want to see it in person but we'll see the next one that we are going to look at um lawrence do you know oh shit do you know um parco paris or like i don't i forgot what it's called something paris so that's the next area that we are going to. And this apartment also looks really nice. The thing is, it's even further away from like Poblado, Lauderes, and we kind of go back and forth on how much we care about that because even right now, like in our current place, we can't walk to Poblado, but we don't care. It's like a 15 minute drive. Um, so, we're trying to decide how much you care about that because at the end of the day if our own personal area that we're living in has like a good amount of um like if the area that we're staying in has a good amount of like restaurants and stuff like we don't we don't have to be in Plobato. I honestly I think Plobato is very um touristy where do you live at Lawrence um I feel like Plobato was actually like very touristy and you know i go back and forth on that like i mean it's it's a, it is like a nice area but i want to feel like i'm around locals i think in sabaneta yes it is it is sabaneta have you been there so we did see a couple of airbnbs there that are nice and like i think the one we're going to now is 1400 and like we would definitely ask them to like lower the price but like i said we just have to ask ourselves if we want to be that far away and you know we're gonna be here for three months and so you, we did also say that you know we could decide to stay here for a month and then be like this was cool but you know we want to go back towards the other area like that is an option as well thank y'all for the hearts um it is an option as well sabonetta park is cool but that's good to know the, the area looked really dope like people like i saw people saying like the area was like really cool um like i said it really just comes down to do we want to be that far away from poblado and from lateras which are like I know like that's the area where like most of the expats are i'm in lauderes see that's what i mean um and i mean we're pretty much homebodies like you know we go to like the grocery store but you know we we not we not like outside multiple days a week or nothing like that and so that's another thing we talked about we were like okay so even if we are like 25 30 minutes away from poblado does that bother us if we're only going to be hanging out with people like once or twice a week because like that's not a big deal to take an uber you know just because it's um it's not a big deal to take an uber just because um you know we're gonna hang out once or twice a week and i also told my husband i was like to be honest with you i feel like there's not a big difference to me if, if i have to drive whether the drive is 15 minutes or 20 minutes it's not that big of a difference to me because either way i have to get an uber like if unless we are in la Rez or unless we are in la Rez or unless we are in um poblado and someone's like oh hey you know let's go to skybox or let's go you know whatever and anyway, I can just walk out of my door and go there. Like, either way, we're going to have to get in the car. So, I'm excited to see this next place. And then the place that we're viewing tonight, which I'm probably I'm going to show y'all, but that's going to be like 7.45 p.m. But the place that we are looking at tonight is in... Damn, where is it? I don't remember, but it's in, I think I, can, I think it's in Laura's. Um, it is... How far is the Uber away, baby? Babe, how far away is it? Oh, we should have got two of these. Four minutes. Okay. The place we're looking at tonight has really good reviews, and it's only a thousand. So, love the price. Good area. It's kind of a. It's like it, there's like small shit that's annoying. Like the couch doesn't face the TV. The couch is like on the side, and it's kind of like the same in the bedroom. But I mean, you know, for a thousand a month, especially if he's willing to knock it down, um, you know, there's definitely some things like that that we will be willing to to overlook. So, yeah, we just we just gonna have to see y'all. But we we gotta make a decision. We looked at four different places yesterday. We're looking at five today, so that's like eight different places that we're looking at. But y'all see, like y'all get y'all are getting the behind the scenes. Y'all get to see how this is and how like. You know, like I said, whenever it comes to your place, you know, you have specific things that you want and need. Like, 
I am so sad to leave that gym behind, but I feel like honestly, other than the gym, there really wasn't anything else about this place that I truly loved. You know what I mean? Like, I know I love it. This one had a king, right? I love the king bag, the king bed, but other than that, like, there really wasn't anything about this place that I, like, fell in love with. Like, nothing. So, I'm kind of like, the price is pretty good, 1200 That's a little bit less than some of the other ones we were looking at, but... So, baby, you had to choose from any of the ones that we've looked at today. Which one would you choose? Okay, he said, I don't know. You said the, this one? You said this one? Or, oh, the last one. Okay. Yeah, I... You didn't like the one before that. The one we walked to. You didn't like it. I can definitely see how it would get loud around here at night. Thank y'all for the hearts. Please keep them coming. This place that we're going to, hey Eve, we're in Columbia. So y'all, this place we're going to next, they got AC. That's the other thing, like I do really like the last place. I just don't know if like we're willing to give up, like not being able to walk out of our door and have places to eat. Like you saw like when we walked out, it was real residential. And then, like, I feel like my the whole thing about the AC, like, we would survive regardless, right? Like, we won't die if we go a month without AC here. I know we won't. Um, like I said before, my biggest concern is, like, at night when we are sharing a bed. Like, I feel like it's going to be hot. Yeah, the next, the next two we look at both have AC. The one we're looking at now and the one we're looking at tonight, both of them have AC. Um which is obviously a big plus for us. I have a feeling that we are really going to like this next one. And like I said, I think the question is just going to be about the distance, to be honest with you. I should put up my banner for travel questions too, for the people coming in. Oh God, y'all, I'm sweaty out here. Let me see. Okay, TikTok. You want to be ghetto today. See, babe, TikTok doing that thing for me to add a photo. That's so annoying. Nope, that ain't it. Yeah, they don't have it today. All right, never mind. That's so aggy. So, like, sometimes I have, like, a little banner at the top of my live. And, like, I was literally using that for months. And then out of nowhere, TikTok just stopped having it as an option. And then, like, the next day it was back and now it's gone again. Tedious. But y'all can always feel free to drop me any travel questions that we have, that y'all have. Like I said, we have been traveling all this year. I've been to 28 different countries, and this is our ninth country this year. So we've been in Brazil, we've been in Spain. We've been in Brazil, we've been in Spain, Vietnam, China, Japan, Thailand, Panama, Indonesia. We've been a lot of places, so... Any questions y'all have about travel or living abroad? Thank you, baby. When I start this, babe, can you put the seat up? Good God, oh. I'm in barely. Yeah, thank you. All right, y'all. Another Uber. Okay. 
Okay, this music is a little vibe though. driving in the United States. But I think what she what she meant is we're close to the entrance of Poblado. We're not necessarily close to like all the stuff that's happening in Poblado. She, what she meant is we're close to the entrance of Poblado. We're not necessarily close to like all the stuff that's happening in Poblado. Happening in Poblado. charge oh my god did I leave my charger oh my god y'all if I left my charger oh my god I think I left my charger at home oh my god y'all I'm so sorry I did not have my charger I'm gonna have to get off this live I can, you know, it's because I plugged it up. I normally leave it in my purse, but I plugged it up because I was like, I want to make sure I have enough charge. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I'm not going to be able to show y'all this next place because my phone is on 20% and my phone battery is already shit. Oh. Y'all, I got to go. Thank y'all so much for looking at these first three Airbnbs with me. Um, I'm sorry I got y'all hyped about the Paris one, but I'll let y'all know. Whenever I do my next living abroad update, I'll show y'all our new Airbnb and wherever we decide to go. I cannot believe I left my charger. Y'all know I've literally only done that twice since we left the United States. And after I did it the first time, I remember we were in Thailand and my phone was on like, no, we were in Japan. And my phone was on like 1%. I was like putting that thing on like airplane mode because I was like, mm -mm, I am not trying to have my battery die out here. And yeah, so I have to jump off. But thank y'all again so much for joining. Please follow if you have not already and stay tuned. I'm going to be taking y'all behind the scenes a lot more. So I'm going to catch y'all next time.